Okay, so for this next problem, I've gone ahead and actually worked everything out for you because I don't want you to spend any time copying it down, but I want you to hear it and understand it. So the key here is I'm asked to find the probability of a value between a negative and a positive z-score. And it's not so important that they're negative and positive. Is I'm asked to find the probability of something that is between z-scores. So this is case three. So in terms of finding this one, first thing I normally would do is, you know, take the two z-scores and find where they fit down below on the number line. So like specifically, negative 2.38 is somewhere past negative 2, and positive 0 0.06 should just be a hair past 0, I mean, as best as I can draw. And because it asks for the area in between them, that's why just this blue section is shaded. So now remember, in case 3, where I want the area between two z-scores, whether they're both negatives, both positives, or one of each, then what I need to do is I look up those z-scores and then I'm always going to subtract the smaller area from the larger area. So I could have just jumped over here and shown you this, but I wanted you to see the visual of what's happening. So if you take the first case where I look up negative 2.38 on the edge of the table, I'm going to find 0087 in the middle of the table. But remember, that's area to the left. This is this little piece over here. And hopefully you'll notice that I don't actually want that area, but I needed to look it up. So then I look up my second z-score, 0 0.06. And when I look that in the middle of the table, I find 0.5239. Remember, I'm looking at the positive table and I expected a number over 0.5 because I'm looking up more than half to the left. So what to, you're supposed to notice between these two pictures is that I've got this area on the left that I don't want. I wanted to subtract it off the picture in what's in the middle. So that's what's happening right here. I'm taking the larger area, which is all the way to the left, and including that piece I don't want. But if I subtract that piece that I don't want off, then I end up, actually we'll leave that arrow there, getting what I do want. So right here is my answer. My answer is the 0 0.5152, which I would answer is 51.5%. Now, in terms of looking at the picture and knowing it have an answer bigger than 50%, that gets a little hard when I'm doing in-between values. But at least hopefully you can see the big picture as to why we're subtracting the two values.